when it tastes great, we eat it when we're happy, we eat it when we're sad, we eat it when it's for free. Welcome to Let's Cook episode number 12. I really hope that you are enjoying the episode and ready when it comes to losing weight for the very last time, which really comes down to planning. Planning is really important. Christmas tends to scare people up because they will tend to overeat because the food is already there. And my advice is really enjoy yourself because you, the, the, my number one tip when it comes to Christmas time is not so much not having the food, but just pacing yourself and, and watching your portion size as well. That's really important. Portion and pacing. Let the fun begin. Recipe number one is a tahini sun dry salad. Very easy to prepare spinach leaves. And the spinach leaves are very high in iron, um, high in fiber. <laughs> Big bowl. There you go. So I'm just going to put this bowl to one side. Let's just throw that. Whoops, there goes one. And the five second rule is gone. So that's about two cups. We've got our next ingredient, which is sun-dried tomatoes. Sun-dried tomatoes, so you can see that. The whole idea first is just to boil the raw vegetables first. I've got some olives. Yes, green and black olives. Really just, it just depends on how many people you're going to, going to feed. If you've got one, two, three, four, just, you can just gauge the amount of what's in there. My guide is about 80 grams to 100 grams of the olives and the sun-dried tomatoes and two, three big cups of the spinach. It's a nice fresh vegetable. So, put your cucumber around the edges, I tend to do. And mmm, really nice. It's artichokes. These are quite fresh, and I got these from the local Italian deli. And these are the artichoke hearts. And just a cut them in half only, and present it halfway up. So when you cut it in the middle, from the inside, flip it. And what the next one is going to be, I give you a hint, it starts with L. L for Larry. You give up, you give up, you give up, it is lentils. Lentils being so fine, I didn't want to put that on the bottom part so it gets all crushed. So just with a spoon, you see, just sprinkle. The reason why I've done that is sprinkle. Just around the edge and first. It's about one and a half to two cups. So oh. with the dressing, it's two, 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 two. We've got four ingredients and two tablespoons per ingredient. So first of all, we've got some apple cider vinegar. Next is some tahini. Give it a shake. Now, if you find that you can't open it, the trick to opening a jar that is really hard to open is with a wooden spoon. No, wooden spoon for the jar. Tap it on the top and tap it on the side. That way it releases the gas. Right now. And voila! Magic! Magic! It's a bit in here because I've got it on the top. Two tablespoons. One and two. Okay. Get some soya sauce. Once again, two tablespoons. One soya sauce. Some honey. 
is it easier if I just do this? Soya sauce, tahini, apple cider vinegar and honey, two tablespoons each and give it a good stir. And then and you can add to it, which I will, it's just a little bit of drizzle on the bottom. Of course. And because I have my basil plant close by, <laughs> I'm going to take some of the basil and just put some basil amongst the lentils. Oh, God. If I could marry basil plant, I would. <laughs> Seriously. This is so nice. Okay. As I'll pan back inside. And that is done. Voila. Your tahini, or sun dried tomato and tahini salad. There you go. Beautiful. Done. Recipe number one done in under 15 minutes. Well, really, you can have this done like in like five minutes, but because like the talk and Talk about how we grip together, but that is your sun dry tomorrow. Beetroot smoothie. Beetroot's great, very good for the skin, high in fiber, high in folate, has lots of magnesium and potassium, which is good for your body, for your circulation at the same time as well. So beetroot has a lot of goodness in it as well. So let's start with nice beetroot. Some green apples. Green, some fresh blueberries, orange, cut up, pineapple, spinach again, maybe like Popeye and olive oil, and flax seeds, and water. So we have really one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ingredients. So what should we start with first? Well, it doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, it's about what we can put in. So I'm with some spinach. We need to pound that down with something else. So I'm thinking, why not add our beetroot first? So I've already, I've already peeled the beetroot and I'm going to slice it up. So I've been told not to use a wooden spoon. So what I try not to do is cut it up in pieces, like so. And done. Let's put another one in there and just slice it. Just got in. That's okay. Pineapple. So I'm gonna throw some pineapple on top. Like so, pineapple's great. It really helps to break down the protein which reduces the stored fat and actual burns of fat as well. I'm going to add some green apple. And surprisingly enough, um, pineapple is sweet, but it doesn't have a large amount of sugar. The same with blueberries, um, a low in sugar as well. I'll and cut out a whole orange, because I'll probably end up making this tomorrow morning. Okay, so. And then we're going to add some flax seeds. Hold 
tablespoon and then we'll add our water. It's about 150 ml. Perfect. And just to make sure that you do have the water on the level part on that side there as well. So let's close it all up and let's beat it and see if it turns red. I'll put two nice big sizes of the, of the beetroot. I'll put the recipe description um, on the bottom part of this video. Use the knives because we are going to... Powers up. It's our, our beet smoothie. You can't beat the smoothie from the weight loss king. So... Careful of course, it's going to mm. really good for weight loss and great for the skin. I also put a description of the nutritional value of each of the ingredients that we've used being spinach, pineapple, apple, berries, orange, beetroot, flax seeds and I'll give you a description of each one and why are they great for you. Your beet smoothie which is different but let's put to the taste test. Mmm! Wow! Really nice, really nice. It's subtle, it's not overpowering, but it is really, really nice. So give it a go, the raw beet smoothie. I'm gonna call that. That's done. Sun-dried tomato and tahini salad, followed by the beet smoothie. When it comes to losing weight for the very last time, you need to fall in love with the lifestyle that you have adapted. Is it boring? Because food isn't the enemy. It's all about moderation, about portion size, and just relaxing and enjoying the food. You don't need to do any crazy diets. You just need to eat within reason, have fun, be relaxed. Don't go on any crazy, silly, um, diets or any starvation diet. Food, food is emotional. It smells great. It tastes great. We eat it when we're happy. We eat it when we're sad. We eat it when it's for free. But we eat it because we, it is what it is and we are who we are. So the best way around it is just to make sure that we make better choices and better decisions when it comes to food and being prepared and being planned really takes out the extra work that you have to do when it comes to preparing a meal. So if you've got the ingredients and your kitchen's organized and your food's there and you've got, you can just make it. When you don't have it, you're not, not planned for it, prepared for it, that's when you make bad decisions and you ring up and order takeaway food and then you will regret it later. So don't have regrets, be planned, be prepared, prepared, have your portion size, enjoy food, eat there, accept it, just make better choices. I'm Sylvester, the weight loss king. Losing weight for the very last time has never been easier at all. I've lost 80 kilos 18 years ago and it took me 18 months to lose it and I'm living proof that it's never too late to start losing your weight for the very last time. Thank you everybody for watching. I look forward to seeing you for now. Next episode of Next, Next Wednesday is a surpriser, but it's very Italian. Thank you and talk to you soon. Food, food is emotional, it smells great, it tastes great. We eat it when we're happy, we eat it when we're sad. We eat it when it's for free. Thank you.